The World Health Organization say waterborne diarrhea is the second biggest killer of children in Africa. And the World Bank estimates that waterborne disease reduces economic activity by a third. Our project proposes to train three teams of builders to build sustainable rainwater harvesting plants. And in doing so, help protect one of Kenya's most important wetlands. My name is Maurice Wanjala, and this is me with my wife, Salome. I've been a community conservationist and educator all my life. The crested grain is a good wetland indicator, such that where the grains exist, there is life. I run Kipsaina Grain and Wetland Conservation Group. My focus has been the wetlands of Western Kenya and in particular Sayua Swamp beside my home village of Kipsaina. These threatened wetlands act as environmental spawns, guarding against flash floodings and extreme drought. Sayua Swamp is an oasis of biodiversity with the three flagship species of special interest. The Sitatunga aquatic antelope, Debresa monkey, and the majestic grey crowned crane. This vital wetland is threatened by encroachment from farmers and disturbance from people collecting water. Part of my work has been trying to provide clean water supplies to the communities around the wetlands where average household income are less than a dollar a day. My team have constructed 20 protected springs and 10 shallow wells over 30 years. However, these springs are not reliable. They can dry up in drought or become contaminated by floodings. Kipsaina Crane and Wetland Conservation Group are teaming up with the Rotary Clubs of Kitale in Kenya and the Rotary Club of Barnard Castle in the UK to provide sustainable solutions to the problem of water supply and its consequences. The World Bank recognizes that clean water is central to sustainable development. We are calling this project Kipsaina Wash Plus, which stands for Water, Sanitation and Hygiene. The plus is for the environmental benefits this initiative will bring. Water touches many of the United Nations' 17 Sustainable Development Goals. Climate change, food security, urban development, disaster risk management, environment, gender equality, health, and energy. Our solution is to capture renewable rainwater using the roofs and cutters of school buildings. This water is then to be stored in 20,000 liter tank, such as these built using sustainable materials by Halibari Youth Trust in Uganda. Traditional Kenya bricks require the felling and burning of large numbers of trees. Our project will use interlocking stabilized soil bricks or ISSP technology. ISSP bricks are made from subsoil mixed with sand and very small amount of cement. The mix is compressed in a mold. Once the brick is removed from the mold, it is stacked and set for three days. No trees are cut down to fire it. These blocks can be used to construct watertight tanks. Our initial training program will, with Hellsbury Youth Trust will allow us to build at least eight tanks. This will provide reliable clean water to eight schools across the region. Our teams will then be available to build many more. Kipsaina Wash Plants will link with our existing International Tree Foundation work to reforest the vital wetland margins this is our tree nursery. This project will allow us to expand our tree planting educational work 
and increase tree cover in school grounds to include fruit and nut trees, adding to food security. This project will also allow us to team up with Manhouse Organic Farming Training Center. Using wastewater from our tanks for irrigation, we will set up sustainable vegetable growing demo plots and run training workshops. The initial build will include tanks at two local schools, St. Patrick Mid Secondary School, St. Christopher's Girls Secondary, and two special schools, Nalondo School for the Physically Disabled and St. Anthony School for the Deaf. Trainings will be provided in good hygiene practices, including menstrual health. Ours is a resilient community. We have demonstrated this over the last few years by rebuilding our primary school in partnership with UK Charity Keep and Barnard Castle School, also from the UK. Over the course of the pandemic, we have delivered nearly 10,000 face masks to schools across our region. We have also designed and built hand washing stations. Kipsaina Wash will allow us to set up youth training to produce these hand washing stations. These hand wash units combined with rainwater tanks will enable our schools to reduce waterborne diseases. Like all schools, St. Christopher's girls need more classroom space. The ISSP builders will train through this project, will be able to start constructing classrooms such as these built by Elbury Youth Trust in Uganda and other vital school infrastructure such as these toilet blocks. To cover the costs of construction and the associated wider training programs, we are looking to the International Rotary community and their supporters to help us. We want our community to be part of the World Bank's vision of water secure world. With your help and the help of Rotary International, my community can make this happen.